Home Depot is the latest organization to get infected with woke bigotry. They've distributed a racist, sexist, and borderline Christophobic guideline for how their staff can check their slew of privileges at their doors. I'm Drea Humphrey with Rebel News, where we tell you the other side of the story. And in order to do so today, you and I are about to laugh through, I mean, read through Home Depot's Marxist-approved propaganda flyer for employees. Looking for a good dose of bigotry and wokeness, anyone? You may be able to find it for half price off next to the home improvement goods down off five at Home Depot. That is as long as you make sure to repent from your many layers of privilege when walking through their doors. You see, the $120 billion home improvement company with over 2,000 locations across North America wants their modest wage-making white, male, Christian, heterosexual, and able-bodied employees to learn how to check their privileges. Way to boost morale there, Home Depot. A poster on Twitter who goes by the name of LLP shared the company's leading practices unpacking privilege flyers for which she says was put on display in the lunchroom where her friend works. This has since been reported to have been from the Calgary location. Now let's take a look here. It starts off with the word privilege in bold, then defines it socially and by standards of whiteness. Let's take a look at the first box here. It says... If you're confident that the police exist to protect you, you have white privilege. Let me get this straight. So if you actually believe the slogan to serve and protect, if, if you don't view police officers in a different way, if you don't think that when you call 911, they're not actually going to come and help serve and protect you, you're probably white, you're probably privileged, and you're probably racist. I mean, that's what we're supposed to believe here. Second box, if while growing up, college was an expectation of you, not a dream, you have class privilege. So what they're saying is families or parents who don't have a lot of money like mine, you know, I had a disabled parent and one who struggled with addiction. Sometimes instead of the bills getting paid, drugs were bought. Uh, but my family raised me to get out of that life, to have a post-secondary education, to reach and achieve for things. But Home Depot is so ignorant that they think that simply because you have not a lot of money, you don't put expectations on your children. Box number three, door number three. If you can expect time off from work to celebrate your religious holidays, you have Christian privileges. Is that true or is it just you live in Canada versus another country that would give time off for a different holiday? And by the way, if you're working for a company that will not give you a religious holiday that doesn't fit into the Christian, traditionally Christian holidays, that's a company problem. For example, at Rebel News, if that was the case, you needed time off with your family, it wouldn't be an issue. You wouldn't even have to take a vacation day. You would have time to celebrate with your family for your other faith. It doesn't matter. And we'd say, hey, save us some food. True story. Now, Home Depot, I took a look at their Canadian site for their benefits. It says, obviously, they get staff holidays. It does have a section for personal here. So what does that mean? Is Home Depot just making you not have time with your family? Let me know in the comments if you know the answer to that. If you work there, you can do it off record. I'm definitely curious. But again, that's a company problem and it should be sorted out. Next box here, it says, if you can use public bathrooms without stairs, fear or anxiety, you have cisgender privilege. <laughs> now I know somebody watching is saying, what the heck is cisgender? It's basically a woke term to describe someone who identifies with their biological sex. And so if you are not having a physical reaction to going to using the washroom in front of people, if you're not breaking down anxiety, that's a problem. You're privileged and you should know that. And I don't know what type of exercise you should do on the way in to make yourself feel better about that, but you should be ashamed that you're not terrified to go to the bathroom. And are we to assume that everybody else who doesn't identify with their biological sex is scared to go to the bathroom? I mean, if that's an issue, that's sad. And people just need to learn to treat people 
the way they want to be treated. I mean, that's really the simple philosophy here that needs to be shared. No bullying, no disrespect for people, other employees, uh, no harassment. Why do you have to go and break down what's with the obsession of putting everybody in a box and a label so that nobody actually treats people based on who they are on the inside? And instead, it's this perception of what they are on the outside. Let's continue on here. Uh, if you don't have to worry about how to get into a store, you have able body privilege. So now, if you have all limbs and good health, that's a problem too. Now, I would hope the store is accommodating people who have physical disabilities or whatever type of disabilities to come in there. And I hope if you see someone struggling to get in the door, you help them. And I also hope that you don't take for granted your health. You're thankful for those things and you continue to keep them as good as you can. But what are you supposed to do if you're healthy and you have all limbs? What, what kind of exercise, again, is Home Depot getting at? What should you do? Cut a limb off to make things on an even playing field? I don't know. Let's go on here. It says if you don't have to explain that your spouse is of the same gender, you have heterosexual privilege. I don't know about you, but anybody I know who's married to someone from the same sex simply just says, hey, this is my wife or this is my husband. I don't really understand how it's different. Perhaps I'm ignorant in this. Again, let me know in the comments. I don't know if it's you feel the need to explain yourself. Does Home Depot put that pressure on you? I'm not sure. And then, uh, yeah, it's got this beautiful checklist. Again, if you're white, male, class, uh, Christian, cisgender, able body, or heterosexual, you need to recognize your privilege. It's got some creepy cartoons on the other page here where some of the, oh, you know, I don't really like talking about being white. It says, oh, yeah, now the term white can bring bad feelings. Okay, well, no wonder since you have to shed some sort of repentance for being white. I love what this poster said in response to this section. Steve Bahari says, well, what if you're white and you choose to identify as a person of color? Is that tolerable? Of course not, silly Steve, because that would be equality. You know, that would be like treating unvaccinated people as though their body is their choice. This isn't about equality. This is about Marxism. Moving on to the next box. And then it says here, okay, well, what do I do? What do I do? This little cartoon asks this other person. They say, well, have you ever considered sharing the benefits that your privilege gives you? What does that mean? How does one share the benefits of their so-called privilege? And do they share it with everyone equally or just the people who were not ostracized by Home Depot's woke privilege list? It reminds me of that whole Chaz setup in Seattle during the whole Black Lives Matter movement where they were trying to teach young people that because they're white, they should be conditioned to think that they have to share their property later on in life. Check out this little clip. Okay. I want you to find by the end of, by the time you leave this autonomous zone, I want you to give $10 to one African American person from this autonomous zone. And if you find that's difficult, if you find it's hard for you to give $10 to people of color, to black people especially, you have to think really critically about in the future, are you gonna actually give up power and land and capital when you have it? If you if you have a hard time giving up ten dollars, you gotta think about: Are you really down with this struggle? Are you really down with the movement? Now I reached out to Home Depot Canada and the U.S. to find out how broadly this has been distributed to their employees, and also to find out who they paid to come up with this. And I never heard back from. Home Depot Canada, but I did hear back from the U.S. sector and they said, Hi, Drea. While we fully support diversity across our company, this material was not created or approved by our corporate diversity, equity, and inclusion department. This was a resource in our Canadian division and not part of any required programming. But you know who I think needs to check on something? That's Home Depot. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because I think that Canadians in particular are getting really tired of being divided. 
They're starting to see through the crap. You might want to put people into this box and make sure that they don't actually see people for who they really are and that they treat them based on a radical ideology instead of based on their character. But it's not working anymore. People are tired of it. They want to be united. And they're starting to see through this stuff. And you know what? They also know that if you have billions of dollars, that brings you a lot of privilege. I'm Drea Humphrey for Rebel News. Let me know in the comments what you think about Home Depot's best practices when it comes to checking their privilege. If you like that at Rebel News, we bring you the other side of the story. You can consider supporting our independent journalists in a really fun and cool way. And that is shopping at our Rebel News store at rebelnewsstore.com. We've got some fun swag. You can bring out the rebel in you and also, like I said, help support our independent journalism. I'm Andrea Humphrey for Rebel News.